Welcome to Bangkok, Thailand. This city is a vibrant mix of ancient tradition and modern wonders. From the bustling streets filled with tuk-tuks and street food to serene temples and towering skyscrapers, Bangkok has something for everyone. Bangkok is also home to some of the coolest cafes you'll ever find. From hidden gems with artistic vibes to modern spots serving Instagram-worthy drinks, I'm going to take you along with me to find the perfect places to relax and enjoy coffee. Let's go. Starting my cafe tour at After the Rain, and I got here at opening time because I heard this one gets quite busy. Here at the first cafe, and it's called After the Rain, and you can actually go boating in this cafe, which is kind of crazy, and it's absolutely gorgeous day to be here. Everything on the menu looks so good, but I was so distracted by the fish under my feet right now. The cafe does ask for you to order and pay before getting into a boat, so I had to order real quick before it gets busy ordered a matcha latte to start today and I'm gonna try trying to go all these cafes today so I really have to be strategic with what I order at each cafe because it's gonna be a lot of liquid and a lot of delicious food. My friend who is with me in Thailand ordered a cappuccino and also decided to get a toast because it has fruit on it so it's basically breakfast right? Now it's boat time and the boat ride is free if you order something at the cafe. That's in the back of the front. I am definitely glad we went first thing in the morning so there are no cues for the boats and rowing was honestly way easier than I thought. It was very serene going down the waterway. Definitely a unique cafe experience. Moving on to my second cafe, which is actually just down the road from After the Rain. All right, here are the next cafe now, and it's called Bubble in the Forest, and they got all these really cute little huts that's around water, and it is so cute. Like, I can't believe this is a cafe. I got this uh, lychee rose drink and it looks so pretty. Mm. It's actually not sweet. It's kind of tastes like sparkling water a little bit. But yeah, it's actually happy that it's not that sweet since a lot of the coffee shops do have really street drinks here. And of course, I got Pad Thai. It's basic, but it's good. After I finished my food, I just walked around the cafe and explored some more. And there's a bunch of different seating areas that you can choose. And I think you can make reservations ahead of time for some of these that are more in the central area at the Central Lagoon. But yeah, it's really cool that this is just a coffee shop. Moving on to the next cafe, and it's called San Rafael Cafe. And what's different about this cafe compared to the other two I previously visited is that this one is way more modern and I love the architecture in here. The pastries here look absolutely delicious and they have sweet options and savory options and the designs of some of these are just so creative and I cannot decide what I want. All right, already on to the next cafe. So this is already three cafes like since the morning and the day and I think I am sweet drink out so I got a water. Um, but the pastries here look so good. Got this chocolate chip croissant. Um, this is huge, but it looks so good. And also it's really nice to be indoors because it's very warm right outside right now. So we have the fan full on blasting. This is such a cute little cafe. It's so modern and the designs are just so much fun. There is an upstairs section that I'm heading up to. And there's like this like little nest that everyone can sit in and just get some work done. I also had to take you to the bathroom because look at how cool this bathroom looks.
the next stop. It might be my favorite stop because it is a corgi cafe here in Bangkok and I love corgis. So there is an entrance fee of 300 baht but includes one drink. So basically it's a visit to the corgis and one drink but there's other options if you want pastries but I opted for just a one drink because I've had plenty of pastries today but I can see the corgis through the window right now and they're freaking adorable. Before you enter the actual corgi cafe, you have to take your shoes off and put on these plastic coverings to protect the corgis. You also have to wash your hands. And here they are! I am actually shocked at how many corgis there are here. There are rules and guidelines on how you can interact with the corgis, and I spent about an hour here playing with the corgis, and they are so well trained and loved. Best cafe yet. Ten out of ten. I did not want to leave the corgis, but I had more cafes on my list I want to hit today. So moving on to the fifth cafe, and this one is closer to the city center. It's definitely busier than the other ones since this is in the late afternoon already. I love how this feels like a whimsical forest with its mist and waterways. There's even a waterfall in this cafe. How crazy is that? I ended up just ordering watermelon juice and it came in a whole watermelon. Heading to the last stop of the day. The cafe tour continues and now I'm at this super nature immersed cafe called Nature Cafe and it's literally like walking through the woods to get to this cafe spot. This cafe is actually on the river, so you actually have river access here and watch the boats go by and it's just really pretty. And I love the bamboo structures of the buildings here, it really makes you feel like you're immersed in nature. Apparently from this garden, you can even take a boat ride with the locals, which is pretty cool. It's really cool just sitting here and watching the different boats go by on the river. And it's just so peaceful. I have a great drink, of course. I got their toffee nut latte, which they're known for. And it's just so peaceful. Definitely a really unique cafe here in Bangkok and worth venturing out of the city center a little bit for it. It's really good. Um, but, you know, it's standard 
for Thailand. Um, it is quite sweet. Um, they like to make their lattes very sweet here. So if you like it not very sweet, you just let them know or ask for no flavor. But toffee nut, and there's even a bar of toffee in here. Thanks for coming with me on my tour of the best cafes in Bangkok. I can't believe I consumed this many drinks in a day, but it was so worth it. Make sure to save these cafes for your trip to Thailand, and I'll see you in the next video.